Hello everybody. Hope you are doing fine in life today. And wanted to contribute something what I what I already know, and wanted to share some experience with you. Because uh, why I'm making this video? Because a lot of my friend, colleagues, and juniors are asking that what kind of job you do there, what are the steps, what are the procedures? Give me drawings, give me job, give me reference, and all. So really, I was thinking that I should do something for them. So right now, I come up with an idea to start a YouTube channel where I will be sharing my ideas, sharing my experience with you guys, and my beginners in the industry which I am working in which I am working. So I don't think that you know the people who has a lot of experience will like my video. because i'm not so good in explaining i'm not so good in editing the video which will interact you so because i am already working a lot of hours of my day around 13 hours to 14 hours a day for the in this field and earning few bucks so here i would like to tell you that i'm working in i come to kuwait for sk engineering construction then after working there i moved to another company called technicas reunidas tr so right now i'm working for tr as an equipment supervisor for mechanical roading i'm i'm looking for roading and static equipment so as a mechanical engineer if you choose to come to gulf as an engineer you will be involved If you are in a construction job, you have to follow just four things. Just four things. Static and rotating equipment is what? Nothing. It is a machine, or it is a vessel, or it is an equipment. That's all. It is an equipment, and since you are in construction, so you have to install. You have to install. You have to build a home, just like building a home. so you have to build a refinery where later on you know after after when you go home you know when you finish the task and the refinery is completed the crude oil will be distilled in many things so you you have to build a refinery building a refinery is a huge task it is divided into many parts mechanical civil electrical instrumentation it and many other task so what work i am doing right now i am involved in static and rotating equipment installation so how do you install a vessel or what are the steps what are the procedure to install a vessel an equipment a rotating equipment or static equipment example pump compressor turbine gas compressor gas turbine or heat exchanger or filter or vacuum column vessels drum columns there are a lot of things to install but i will divide that in five or six parts in mechanical you will come to know only few words like vessels exchangers filters pumps compressors turbines fluid heaters heat recovery steam generators so these all are main part very less so i will here i would like to tell you the process since i believe on making things very easy so i would like to make this procedures are huge but i will like make it very easy in four steps installation of vessel or installation of any equipment the procedure we follow is chipping padding installation alignment and grotting five things okay i hope it is bouncing from your mind if you are a fresher if you are a beginner so i would like to clarify a vessel or an equipment is something to install somewhere and you can install it on the ground 
because ground cannot hold anything for longer time, right? So you have to build a foundation or a structure. Just assume for understanding purposes, assume it as a foundation, okay? So civil guys will give you foundation. I will give more detail on foundation in my next video and what is chipping next video, what is padding my next video, what is installation my next video alignment and the grouting, everything in my next video. It will be a series of videos so that I think if you listen my all videos within you know within day or two you will at least come to know what's going on or what what has to be done there and how to attend an interview. So the procedure is simple. Chipping of the foundation means breaking the top part of the foundation, then padding, fixing some small plates, pad plate that is called, and then installation of the vessel with the crane on the foundation, and then after foundation, you know, you have to do alignment because the padding, what you apply it may not be linear, may not be in the correct position. It may be little tilt, even 0.5 mm, 0.6 mm matters here. So, to make it align or verticality, to maintain its verticality, you will have a split level doll, you will have master level, you have a split level doll to do the alignment to make it properly vertical or horizontal so it should be in one line so that it would be easy while you connect the piping into it. So the first thing will be chipping of the foundation, second thing will be padding on the foundation, third thing will be installation of the vessel or equipment on the foundation, fourth thing will be alignment of equipment fifth thing will be grotting. This all category will later on divide into many parts. So as of now you understand that chipping, padding, installation, alignment and grotting. Okay guys, so in my next video I will be sharing with the pictures, with the real pictures of my refinery where I am working right now. You will get foundations, how a foundation is built and what are the methodologies they use. I will give you all practical photos what they are doing right now at the real time. I will show you what is chipping, I will show you what is padding, I will show you how a vessel install, I will show you how to do alignment, I will show you how to do grotting and the, all the steps of grotting, all the steps of alignment, all the almost all has chipping, padding, installation alignment and grouting if it is if the vessel or the equipment is coming on the structure then structural alignment is necessary then only it will come to you and then you will install the vessel so with these things i will stop my video right now here because it is already lengthy hope you will hope my first video is not so much clear but the you know but when i'll release my next videos purely based on the topics you'll come to know a lot of things that will clear your mind and it will be really interesting to get comments if you have any if you want any other topic to be discovered apart from mechanical engineering what i will do if you are if you want to know about the electrical engineering or piping or anything i will collaborate with other guy with my colleague I will ask their time because we are so busy really we are working for 13, 14 hours a day but I will try to get their time and I will ask them to tell something about piping, something about electrical from step by step in, an, in a flash like in an overview so that you can have some idea and knowledge. Later on I will collaborate with more people who can give you more detail on the different different topics. Okay. So bye bye. Even I am really feeling sleepy because I have to wake up morning five o'clock and I have to get a job by I have to go to job by six o'clock. So bye bye. Have a great day. Enjoy learning. Enjoy enjoying. That's the best thing. Okay bye bye.